So media proxy is cool and interesting. It accomplishes two things for our users. One is content moderation. So we have an automated system in place to classify images, to flag various types of objectionable content. And this is useful because on a blockchain, it is easy to inject an NFT into someone's collection, which will make it appear in that person's collection without them taking any action to acquire the NFT. And you can spam people with possibly upsetting content this way. So in Galleon, since we feed our uh, content requests through the media proxy, they will get flagged. So that's one. Two, the media proxy also has a caching service. So for NFTs, for example, to have high number of editions with many holders, many owners, uh, load times will be significantly improved. And for that matter, if uh, you open Galleon today, you look at your NFT collection and you open it tomorrow, this content may still be in the cache and they will be served to you more quickly than directly from generally IPFS. Yeah. Um, really our hope is multiple type of ecosystem projects adopt this content proxy and the whole NFT experience is safer and more fun for everybody. And there's no censorship. It's all, it, it's all meant to ensure that people provide consent for the content that they view. So no content is ever censored out. And those who wish to view all the NFT content they have can do so. Um, there's, some, there's a lot of abuse. There's a lot of uh, fraud that's possible with NFTs. And uh, hopefully this fixes it and it makes NFTs on Tezos even more compelling.